afternoon, fellow witches and wizards. I have looked into the future and seen that you will be attending Mountainside and its finest classes of witchcraft and wizardry. You will be required two things in this class. The first, a wand. And the second, a magical creature, which you will create in art class. We begin our magical creatures with two pinch pots. They need to be about the same size. This one was a little smaller, so I'm going to stretch it here. See if I can make it the same size. A little more. Ah, perfect. I take a piece of paper and put it inside of the two pinch pots. This will help keep the form. Then it's my job to smooth all of the edges together. A dip in the water every once in a while and a pencil to shove the paper back in. Sometimes it wants to poke out. But this needs to be all the way smooth together. A light touch, but smooth all of your edges together. Okay, I finally have that where I've got all my edges done. Then you're going to roll out a piece of clay, making a coil or a rope. Now, I came across a problem with this clay. It was too dried out, and look what's happening. I had to add water, and I mushed it back together using wedging. But here's my clay roll again. Much better this time because it's not dried out. So you want it about the thickness of your finger. And then you want to cut a length, not too long, not too short. This is going to be whistle part, what you blow on to make the sound. Now scratch and attach. You can use a toothbrush or a comb, but you need to attach this coil right to your clay. Dip in the water and then smush it on really tight. Take a popsicle stick and push straight down that coil. You do not want to go out and poke out. It needs to poke all the way through into the ball. And you can kind of feel it break through all of the ball. Use another popsicle stick as a measuring guide to see if you made it all the way inside your ball. Next, we punch a hole right on top. You're trying to hit that popsicle stick and get really close to where the stick enters the ball. I didn't quite make it, but I can push my popsicle stick in just a little bit more and make sure it's kind of even with that hole. There we go. Next is cutting a bevel. A bevel is like a ramp or a wedge shape. It goes from small to thicker and it's at an angle. I first cut out that shape and then I'm going to use the popsicle stick to make it nice and flat. I want it small and thin to wider at the top. It's time to create the magical creature. I added eyes, a tail, feet, and any other features you want to put on your magical creature. You're the artist. You get to design your magical creature. What kind of features it has, what kind of eyes, legs, spines, you name it. You're the artist. You decide. Here's my magical creature. <laughs>